J.K. Rowling said this brilliant thing about where do you draw the line? Where do you draw the line on taking responsibility for your life? Because if a 16-year-old kid says to me, yeah, I'm kind of fucked up, but my parents are dicks, you go, oh, that sounds fair enough. <laughs> yeah. But if a 40-year-old says the same thing, you go, motherfucker, please, come on. Yeah. You're 40. Where do you draw the line? The answer is somewhere. Somewhere you draw the line. And there'll be 16 year olds listening to this going, yeah, I'm not blaming anyone for any, anything. I'm just, I'm, I'm doing this myself. Yo, 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 what up YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay CN, coming back with another one, man. And I had to show y'all that clip because listen, I like those two examples that he gave. Like, listen, like if you talk to a kid, right? 16 year old, teenager, right? And he said, yeah, you know what I mean? My parents is this, my parents is that. I blame them for why I'm this way. You know what I mean? That's pretty much what he said. Then it'd be like, okay, all right. You know, your parents, all right, they fucked you up. You know, you had to find somebody to blame. You a kid, your parents is the closest thing that you can blame for your mishaps. You know what I mean? And even then it's a stretch, but it is what it is. But when you get to people that's up in age, and they still blaming their parents, then you'd be like, get the fuck out of here, see? And that's what it sound like when you hear grown people still blaming all of these things for their mishaps, blaming all of these people for their behavior, blaming everything in the world for how they came out. You know what I'm saying? And listen, man, we can't do that. We're, we had to draw the line. And that's what that exact that's exactly what the fuck we did. We had to draw the line somewhere and say, hey, you know what? Something gotta give. I gotta change. You know what I'm saying? And that's what the fuck we had to do. See, most people wouldn't do that. Most people wouldn't take accountability, bro. Most people wouldn't do it. We drew the we drew the line ourselves. We like, you know what, man? Hey, you know what? It's time to wake the fuck up. I'm trying to do something different with my life. I gotta, I, I can't, I gotta change. I gotta change. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And see, we didn't blame nobody. We didn't blame nobody because the thing is, when you, when you, when you, when you get up on a journey like this, bro, you accept the things that you've done. You know what I'm saying? No matter if it was addiction, pornography, fapping, all of that shit, you realize that you're the one that did it. You know what I'm saying? You the one that put that bottle in your hand. You the one that put your dick in your hand and turned on that screen. You know what I'm saying? You the ones that, that went out here chasing these hoes and got these hoes pregnant. You know what I mean? Then got burnt and did all that other shit. You the one that went out there and did that shit, bro. See, and that's pretty much what we saying. We saying that everything up until this point we responsible for, but we willing to do what it takes to change. See, and most people not doing that shit. Most people not doing that. And that's what separate you. That's what separate us from everybody else. Because while everybody else pointing a finger, we making it right. While everybody point the finger, we making this shit right. And we making it right right now. Right now. We accept everything that we did. We accept all of that shit. Even the shit where we could even blame people for even some shit where we could place the blame or part of the blame on something or somebody, we still not doing that when we entered into this journey. We ain't do that. We like, okay, I'm willing to change. What can I do? And we doing it. We doing it. We didn't name such and such. See, this one, she the one that got me on this. This one did that. My mom, she the one who, who had me on this and do that. No, we ain't do that. We ain't do that shit. We just sprung into action. We just start putting our left foot in front of our right. We start getting our mind right. We start thinking, being more conscious with our energy. Bro, listen, man. We accepted everything. Everything that we did. We ain't pointing a finger. We ain't blame nobody, see? And that's what's making the world more and more fucked up. But that's what separate us at the same time. Because everybody gonna be around blaming something. They gonna blame their circumstances. They gonna blame their surroundings, bruh. You know what I mean? They gonna blame these hoes for their past relationships and all of that shit. For why they this way and that way. Bruh, man, I ain't trying to hear that. The world don't give a fuck about that. The most high ain't trying to hear that. You know why? Because he still woke you up in the morning and gave you another opportunity to be great. And every opportunity that he give you, you do nothing with it. 
You flush it down the toilet. You find reasons to give in to pleasure. You find reasons to fap. You find reasons to be a low life. To be nothing, you find a reason to be reckless with your energy. So the most high ain't caring. The universe ain't gonna bring nothing your way. Don't nobody wanna hang around you. Ain't nobody on what you want. Ain't nobody on what you want. And what nobody on what we was on when we was doing what we was doing. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you gotta understand that, listen, bro, you changed your life. You know what I'm saying? You did whatever it took to get you to this point where you at right now, where you watching this video at this right time, bro. You did that. You got yourself here right now. So you got to continue to move forward. Ain't nothing. When I turn this camera off and when you go on about your day, bro, that's moving forward because you're going to continue to climb that mountain, bro. But everybody else, you can't do nothing about because we willing to accept the shit that we did. And that was the first step. And that's what people don't get, that that was the first step. Nigga, it's like, man, mother's going to come ask you, man, how you get on your level, bro? How you get to where you at, man? How you end up here, man? The last time I saw you, man, you wasn't doing too hot. You weren't doing too good, bro. How you do that? And a lot of the times, man, if you even told that person, like, look, man, I had to accept my wrongs, man, and make that shit right. I had to take responsibility for my past. I had to take responsibilities for my actions, bro. I had to hold myself accountable. That's what I had to do. And that's where I took my first step at. And then it was only up from there. And see, a lot of mothers going to think. They going to think about it. And listen, man, they're not going to be willing to do that. They're not going to be willing to do that because it's easier to blame somebody. That's the easy way out. And we're not looking for the easy way out over here. That's the easy way out. It ain't no easy way out when you start a journey like this. Nigga, semen retention ain't the easy way out. Nigga, that's the hard way. But it's the right way. You know what I'm saying? Because it's better than the wrong way. So guess what? I'm going to take the hard way as long as it ain't the wrong way, bro. So if I got to go through the fire, if I got to go through the flames, nigga, if I got to go through the pain, I'm going to go through it so I can get to it. I'm going to go through it so I can get to it. Because like I always tell you, we're going to rise up. We're going to rise through them ashes, bro. Everything else going to be burnt down around us. And all of that burnt debris that you see, that's your past, nigga. That's your pain. That's everything that you had to go through to be reborn, nigga. This your rebirth. This your rebirth, nigga. So what you going to do? You gonna stay, you gonna stay tucked up, you gonna stay put up, nigga. You gonna stay in your cubby hole, you gonna stay in the darkness, nigga. Or is you gonna be reborn and live your life? Is you gonna be reborn and rise up, nigga? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Because if you wanna stay down, then stay down, nigga. That's your that's your choice. But I'ma accept all my shit and I'ma keep moving, bruh. These demons don't want no part of me. They don't. I know they there. They there every day, dog. They there every day. Every day we gonna have to fight off demons, nigga. But it's nothing. It becomes nothing. Because you already know you got the strength of the most high with you. So them demons, listen, bruh, they just there for no reason. They there for no reason. And they know it, bruh. And they voice ain't even as loud as it used to be. Nigga, they sound like mice. You know what I mean? It feel like a tickle. Them urges is nothing. You know what I mean? The bottle calling, I don't even hear faint. I don't even hear nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't hear nothing. All I hear is me growing, nigga. I can hear myself growing. I can feel myself growing, nigga. And the more that I know, the more that I grow. The more that I stay disciplined, nigga, the more that I'm going to continue to win. The more that I continue to win, the more my confidence grow. The more my confidence grow, and then it's like, yo, listen, who knows? The sky's the limit for me. So you got to create these things as you go, bro. You got to create. Yo, you got to create your life. You know what I'm saying? Because you created that fucked up shit back then. So you got to recreate yourself because you reborn now. This is your rebirth. So everything you want out there is for yours. It's for the taking. You just got to create it. You got to continue to put in the work and draw your Picasso, my nigga. Draw your Picasso, nigga. Yeah, listen, bro. This is your canvas right here. 
Your canvas is in front of you, so it's up to you to draw your Picasso. Nigga, we Picasso babies, nigga. Just like Jay-Z said, nigga, we Picasso babies. We gon' draw, we gon' create our own art, and we gon' live this. We gon' create our own blueprint, and we gon' live this, and we gon' go by that, and we gon' follow that. Anything else, bruh, listen. Anything else, anybody else that ain't a part of this, they just ain't a part of that. They, they can't be. They not going to understand. So you got to understand this process is going to cost you a lot. It's going to cost you people. It's going to cost you relationships. It's going to cost you spaces, my nigga. It's going to cost you material things, my nigga. Who gives a fuck? It's all for a greater cause. So listen, man, you got to move forward in that. You got to move forward in that. Understand that it's a bigger picture right here. And guess who painted it? You. All right? And that's my word, man. My name JC and the CN Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. Uh, yeah. Give you this, give you that, but Cindy got nothing for you. No simping in my decisions. I gotta keep it royal. King shit, I'm the gift. I promise I won't adore you. But I will explore you.